had the perfect marriage, a picture-perfect family, Kate and Jason Nixon and their three girls. Yay! <gasps> Yay! You did it! That's one-year-old Mackenzie, just a year old when Kate died, learning to walk, now yearning for mommy. I relive it every day. It's, it doesn't go away when my daughter wakes up and says, I want mommy. It renews it every day. This is now the heartbreaking daily reality. Those three little girls, Morgan, Madeline, and Mackenzie, robbed of their mother. Jason fathering on his own, learning to parent with an open wound. Starts from the morning you wake up. You put them in this, this, the car to go to school. You know, these are the things that Kate loved to do. That's what she lived for. I know I have to do it all. The stress of it all finds him sick in the hospital Thursday, four days before the two-year anniversary of the tragedy. It's emotional. It's, uh, it wears you down. Kate, just 42, a veteran city engineer, was shot in the shoulder on May 31st, 2019 by her coworker. 11 others were killed. She called me on the phone at 406. She probably had been shot about 405. Um, said Jason had been shot, called 911. The night before she told Jason, trouble was brewing at work. She felt her disgruntled coworker was gonna shoot up the place. Jason told her to take a gun to work. She declined, citing workplace policy. He got pissed off and he went on a rampage. Nixon says he was on the verge of getting fired and had performance issues, but still the city of Virginia Beach claims no motive was found in their final investigative report. There better be a moron not to see there's no motive. Nixon wants justice, and he's got four days to file a wrongful death lawsuit against the city before his window expires. I'm sick of the city of Virginia Beach doing what they want when they want. Somebody needs to hold them accountable. He, like many other families, saddened two years later. A permanent memorial to honor those brutally murdered is not yet built. It's beyond frustrating because it was such a simple task. Nixon now working each day to do what Kate would want, carrying on her legacy through Kate's most precious gifts. Her daughters, you know, she wanted girls and she got them. And she valued them. That's what she lived for. I'm Chelsea Donovan for News 3.